Alright, so we're going to start with straight arms. Hang on. Someone else is coming in. My, short, my arms are not completely locked. There's a slight bend in them. Eight. Nine. You can also bend your knees just a tiny bit. So you're not, you're creating a little bit of tension through the quadriceps. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. We're going for thirty. Fourteen. 15, 16, keep using your abs a little bit, 17, 18, 19, 20, last 10, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold them up, turn them over, and now we're going to peak the bicep. We're not going to come all the way in, we're going to come to just past half and try and peak the bicep. Try and contract it and then come back. Contract it. Come back. And I'm not going to a full extension. I'm going back to a slight bend. But everyone mute, please, so we only see Natalie in the speaker screen. Thank you. Three. Four. Five. Elizabeth, nine, come half, almost just past half and peak the truck, the bicep. Ten, ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight, elbows up, Matt Kerr. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one, and rest. I admire all of you for standing still. I'm like a little worm when I do my arms. I have to move around a little bit because I hate them so. I hate doing them so much. All right, arms out to the sides, and peaking. One, two. Three. So you don't come all the way in. You come to just past half and peak the bicep. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twenty more. One. Two. You're Face is priceless, Matt Kerr. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. So you should be starting to feel your shoulder caps as well because we're doing everything with the arms up. So it's also building that lovely little shoulder cap that we all need for our t-shirts this summer, including you, Richard. You also need the shoulder cap. You've already got it, but you still need to keep developing. Arms up. And we're gonna push up using the shoulder cap, thinking about creating that definition in the arm in here. Pushing one, two, three, four, five. Don't go too high, Richard. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. One, two, should be burning by now. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. Ooh, okay. My God. Oh, man. Normally it's Mandy telling me to do this stuff. I don't think I've ever made anyone do arms like this before. This is the first time for me, 25 years. Arm workout with weights, okay. Back into, we're gonna do, so we save time, because I've been liking doing these and I've been getting great definition in my arms. We're just gonna do both at the same time. Nice lunge, so we we'll get those quadriceps working. Elbows into the waist, and extend, peak the tricep, one. Two, three. Now she suggested we do 30, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can squeeze your butt as well if you want. Nine, if you want, 10. One, two, three. Elbows right into the side. Four, use your back muscles as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, designed by Mandy, obviously we don't stop there. 30 presses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, 30 little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. It does not stop there. We have one more round and clapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and
and one. And that's Mandy's little combination for us this morning. Thank you, Mandy. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's go down to the mat. Mandy, am I in the... guys for your knee. Okay, so we're going to do a hip flexor stretch in a different way to what we what we would normally do. Normally we do the, the long, long one. So what you want to think with your hip flexors, you've got four of them, okay? You've got the psoas, which is connected into the, into the lumbar spine, and it comes all the way down into the leg. That's the major hip flexor that we've got. Then you've got the psoas minor, which goes over the top. Then you've got another one that comes through here. And then you've got another one that comes up here. Okay, so you've got four of them. And those hip flexors get really tight when you're sitting at a desk all day. As soon as you're in this position, desk position, the hip flexor is contracted all the time. So basically, I just want to think in this stretch, about getting that sensation in any part of this area because they're all kind of bundling up in that area. So we're going to start on our knee. Actually, I'll show you facing the front. I'm going to take my foot out, but it's just, it's just level with my knee. It's not the one that we take it further out. It's just level. The foot is also slightly out a little bit, so it's not aligned with my knee. It's slightly on an angle. This other foot at the back is also slightly on an angle. Slight. None of it is a, 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 a extreme. Now what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze this butt cheek and tuck under until you feel something through here. Then you're going to just lean a little bit into it. Just a little bit. Make sure your bodies are up straight. Keep squeezing your butt cheek on this side, and we're just gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Just keep on squeezing that butt cheek and just keep on feeling that kind of, it's almost like a burning sensation or a sizzling sensation going on in that, all of that groin area. Oh, just cramp. Okay, we're gonna stay in the stretch. Just back out of it for a moment, but don't come out of the position. Now, tuck under, come back into it again, and now you're going to push and squeeze with your butt cheek, and then release. And then squeeze with your butt cheek, and then release. So it's like you're coming into the stretch by squeezing the butt, and then you're coming out of it. Pushing into it. coming out of it. Six more. Squeeze the butts. The butt is essential that that's squeezing. And out. Five more. Squeeze and push. And out. And you may also feel some of the adductor stretching right in the groin, right near the pubic bone as well, and that's fine. Four more. Squeeze and push. Three more, squeeze and push. Two more, squeeze. Last one, squeeze and changing legs. So as I come into it, my leg, this leg is slightly out. My other leg is slightly on an angle. Tuck under with the pelvis, lean into it a little bit, and try to find that sensation through that whole line. Keep squeezing the glutes and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, squeeze the butt, 4, 3, 
two and one at rest. Okay, squeeze and push one. Squeeze and push two. So it's a little pelvic thrust. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. lower down onto the floor. We're going to do a, a series called Series 5. It's a famous Pilates series where you put five exercises together. I hate the fifth exercise, so I'm not going to put it in. So we're going to do Series 4 rather than Series 5. I'll show you each. We'll do each of the exercises, and then once you know what the pattern is, we'll then put them all together. Okay. So it starts out, the first part of Series 4, it's like doing single leg like this, but we just, you hold your arm on top of your leg, your other one goes on your knee, you go. If you get your, if you get your hands mixed up, don't worry about it, okay? We're gonna do 10 on each side. You can keep your head down if you want, or you can keep your head up. Okay, so we start with both legs together, and we're going to go one. Keep your lower backs flat. So that's the first part of the series. Every in the series, we're going to do one of each of these exercises, and we're just going to keep on doing them one over the other. Second part of the series: hands behind your head, crisscrosses. One. Okay, we're going to do ten on each side just to get the pattern. Three, keep your lower backs flat. Four, five, six, seven. I'll show you, you don't have to do it. So the first part of the series when we begin it, which we haven't begun yet, would be one, two, three, four. Okay? Third exercise, double legs. Legs are in, arms go out, one, and you come back in, two. Your lower back's flat. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Resting. So the series will now be looking like one, two, three, four, five, and in. Three parts. Let me just get this part out of the way. Okay. Yeah, okay. Last part of the series, the scissors. Both legs extend, legs are stretched, you pull on the calf. Trying to keep the legs stretched. pretty much the whole series it is going to be working these neck muscles okay so you can also put one hand behind and Mandy's just saying you can also just put one hand behind your head if you need that extra support so I reckon we should try and do six rounds without stopping um, so we start with the single leg we then go into the crisscross we then do the double leg and then we do the scissors and then we start it all over again everybody ready Okay, am I ready? Yes, okay. Here we go, and one. Crisscross, double leg, scissors, one, single leg, crisscross, double leg, scissors. I think this is the last round, or maybe this is seven, we'll just do one more full up. One. Two, crisscross, double leg, scissors, and resting. Well done. Let's see what is next on my. Okay. Hands behind your heads, arms over your heads. Let's do some roll ups. So, we're going to take our arms all the way over. We're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Peel yourself out of the floor. Reach forward and stretch. Take a breath in and hold. Breath out and begin to slowly roll down. My energy is coming out through my heels. I'm squeezing my inner thighs and I'm rolling down vertebra by vertebra. Arms go all the way over the head. Breath 
in, come back up. Breath out, lift all the way up. Reach forward, stretch. Deep breath in. Breathing out, slowly rolling back. Reach through the fingers. My pubic bone lifts here. My hip bones pull back. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Coming all the way over. Breath in, lift. Breath out, roll up. Reach forward. Breath in. Breath out. And now we're going to stop around about here and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rolling all the way down and resting. That was hard. All right, we're going to do that again, but we're going to find another spot. Head and shoulders lift, rolling up. Reach forward. Stretch. Deep breath in. Breath out, rolling down. Let's go almost down. Let's drop our lower backs down. Let's stand around about here and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to center, rolling all the way down. Breath in, rolling up. Breath out, roll all the way up. Reach forward, deep breath in. Breath out, roll halfway back. Halfway, stop here, take your arms to the side, lift one leg up. Three breaths, deep breath in and out. In and out. In and out. Come back to the center. Switch sides, lift the leg, breath in and out. In and out. In. And out, back to the center, rolling all the way down. Take your arms over your head, stretch out and just have a rest. We're going to flip over onto our fronts now and we're going to start working our bottom. Okay, so we're going to go into a plank position and we're going to do like, I think they call it in the Pilates world, I think they call it the, sh the soldier. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, I guess, I think I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Okay, so we go plank position. I'll just demonstrate it to start with. You can either, when you do your planks, you can either go like this, yeah, because I want you to make sure that your back muscles are on, or you can go like that with your arms. Not like that, like that. Okay, once we're in the plank, I want you to think about, obviously all of this has to be on, okay, that's a given, that's, you all know that your abs need to be on, but what we're thinking about with this plank is working your bottom, okay, that's what you want to be the controller of the exercise. So we're in the plank, 
and we lift. And down. And lift. And down. And that's it, okay? And we're going to see whether we can maybe go for a minute. Let's see how we go. Mandy, can you time us? Yeah. A while through the minute out there. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if you can do it with me. I've got no idea whether I can. All right, into the plank. And lift and squeeze the bum. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh God, and where are we at in a minute? Roll the leg. One. 
Keep squeezing those glutes. Lift. Keep squeezing the glutes. Extend. And down. Breath out. Abdominals, pelvic floor. Squeeze the glutes. Roll the leg. One. Lift two. Extend three. Drop down. Deep breath in. Breath out. Abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes. Roll the leg. One. Lift. Extend. And down. Four more. Deep breath in. Breath out. Abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes. Roll the leg. Lift. Extend. And down. Breath in. Breath out. Squeeze those glutes together. Lift. Extend, drop down. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes, roll. Lift, extend, drop down. Deep breath in. Breath out, squeeze, roll. Lift, extend, and down. Changing sides, deep breath in. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes, roll. Lift, extend, and down. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes, roll. Lift, extend, and down. Abdominals, pelvic floor, and glutes, roll. Lift. Extend and down. Five more. Abdominals. Connect into the pelvic floor. Squeeze the glutes. Roll the leg. Lift. Extend. And drop down. Four more. Deep breath in. Breath out. Squeeze those glutes. Roll the leg. Lift. Extend. Down. Breath out. Abdominals, glutes. Roll. Lift. Extend. And down. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hands down by your side. So all of this on front work that we're doing here, I know it's a little bit boring, but it's really, really good for your back. And it's really, really good for the function of your body when you're standing. So that's why I keep putting it into all of the, the, mat, the, the mat classes. It's really important when we're doing this arm front work that the belly isn't just hanging with gravity, okay? We have to fight to keep the belly working and it's kind of, it's harder to feel your belly when you're laying on the floor like this. It's easy just to let it out and be relaxed. You've got to suck it up away from the floor to make sure that this is working. Okay, hands down by your side. Take a deep breath in. Activate the abs so you suck them up away from the floor. Suction the pelvic floor up to stick the transverse abdominus and the pelvic floor together. Squeeze the glutes. Lift off through your arms and create that perfect posture that you'd like if you were standing. Peak your tricep muscles. Energy through your fingers. And then slowly rotate your hands towards the floor. My shoulders, I'm trying to create like a perfect cocaine shape. I'm not coming up too high, it's only a small lift. I'm then going to rotate my arms back and then I'm going to come back down to the floor. Deep breath in. Breath out. Suction your abdominals up. Stick the pelvic floor together with the abs. Squeeze the glutes. Lift off through the shoulders. Don't release the abdominals. Keep the triceps. Slowly twist the arms. Keep pulling down through all of your lats and your back. 
keep sucking that pelvic floor up, keep squeezing those glutes. Energy through the head, breath in, drop down. Deep breath in, breath out, abdominals. Suck it up, pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes, lift off. Don't let those abs go, peak the triceps. Twist the arm. Breath in, drop that down. Five more, deep breath in. Breath out, abdominals, glutes. If you're someone that's prone to getting a cramp, I forgot to tell you this, you can always put a cushion under your ankles. You see, I've just got myself a cramp at the moment, or you just do this with your toe to stop the cramp. And drop back down. Four more. Deep breath in. Breath out. Suck the belly up. Stick the pelvic floor together. Squeeze the glutes. Peak the triceps. Twist the arms. Keep peaking the triceps. Drop and come back down. Three more. Deep breath in. Breath out. Abdominals. Pelvic floor. Glutes. Lift. Chin towards the chest, Richard. Twist the arms. Keep the abs on, keep them on, keep them on. And come back down, two more. And out. Lift. Twist. And down, last one. Squeeze those abs, stick that pelvic floor in with the transverse abdominus, and then you're gonna to come to your sides. So we're gonna do the clam, but we're gonna do it in a different variation today. We're gonna to come up into we're gonna come up into this position. So we're also working all of our underneath side. Then the heel would be on top of the other heel and we're gonna open in this position and we're gonna try and do 20. So you've gotta make sure that your serratus anterior is working the whole time to support you and you have gotta make sure that your abs are on the whole time. Okay, so let's firstly lift up into the position. Okay, flex the feet, or flex the top foot. Keep the heel on top of the heel. And opening, one. And two. And three. And four. Squeeze the butt. And five. And six. And seven. Elizabeth, if it's too much, just do normal clam. Come down under your arm. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. And one. Use your back. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Whew. Leg behind the leg. Let's get these inner thighs done. So this leg just drops behind. You can come up on your head or you can drop down, whatever you prefer. Flex this bottom leg. Lift it. And then we're just going to hold that for one minute. Feeling that all of that adductor working, energy coming all the way out through the heel. If you don't feel it, lift it up a little higher. Keep working the abs. Keep pulling the kneecap up into the quadricep.
Lower the leg down, deep breath in, breath out, lift one. And two. Three. Four. Five. What's the time right here? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. This is okay on your knee, Bella. Five. Four. Three. It'd be good for your knee, actually. Two. One. Now bring it all the way back to touch this foot, then bring it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a small rest. Lift the leg, point the toe, ten circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, changing sides. Lifted clam. Those of you that didn't like the lifted clam, just do the clam on the, the normal clam on the floor. Lift up to begin. Heel on the heel. Make sure you've got your back activated. Opening one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, keep squeezing this top glute. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Drop down. Take the leg behind you. That's it, Bella. Okay, lift the leg and hold. One minute. Super strong leg. Super flex foot, pull the kneecap into the quadricep. Keep the abs working, lower the leg down, breath out, lifting one. Pelvic floor, two, three. You might as well make it an ad workout while we're doing the legs. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to the other leg, pump it forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest for a moment. Circles, one, two, correct, Elizabeth, three, four, <laughs> five, six, there it is, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Lay on your backs. All right, we're going to roll all the way up into a tilt. The feet are quite close to the glute. My working leg is the leg that is staying on the ground. The other leg is just doing something in the air, basically. It's still working, but the, the, it's, the, it's the leg that's stabilizing you that's working. We lift our legs straight to the ceiling. Squeeze the butt cheek. Pump. One, two, three. Squeeze that butt cheek. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest the leg. Don't drop down. Lift the other leg up. Pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Roll all the way down and rest. I'm going to spin around this way so I don't hit the plant. Fifteen bicycles on one side, fifteen bicycles on the other. Rolling up into a half tilt. I'm not all the way up, I'm halfway up. I lift my leg up. This is my supporting leg and bicycling down. One, squeezing. Two. Bella, I maybe wouldn't do this one for your knee. Three. I might sit this one out if I was you, well, Bella. Just Four. She can just go up and down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, do not drop down, just change legs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting into a small little pelvic tilt and then little pumps, squeezing the glutes, pumping. One, squeeze, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate your heels together, take your toes apart, legs are slightly wide, heels are connected. Pump, one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to parallel, keep pumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate them back out, knees apart, heels together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rolling down, resting your back. And we're just going to do, we're going to do some very tiny, tiny little pelvic tilts just to release the back. So basically I want you to think at the moment I'm in neutral spine, so there's a small space between my back and the bed. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten my lower back down, lift my, my coccyx just a tiny bit to flatten down with the spine, and then I'm going to come back to neutral. So it's really a teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny pelvic tilt. So we go neutral into a flat back, slightly lift the coccyx, and then roll back to neutral. Breath out, activate the pelvic floor, soften the lower back into the ground, lift the coccyx just a little bit, feel the back zhuzhing, and then back. We're just gonna hold it for a little bit. So we're gonna open, hold one, two, three, crawl back. Breath out, activate the pelvic floor, open the lower back, hold one, two, three, and four. Rolling back. Breath out, opening the lower back, holding one, two, three, and four. Three more, deep breath in. And out, holding one, two, three, and four. Three more. One, two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, and four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. Now take your leg up on top of your other leg. And all I want you to do is I want you to think of, we're gonna just create space through this hip flexor area by just pressing gently on our leg. So we're just thinking of creating space through the hip flexors. Just press the leg. Just relax the body. You finished the workout, it's finished. Okay, now just take your hand off your leg and create the same thing by squeezing the glute and pushing the leg down. So we're going to just push one, squeeze, two, squeeze the glute, three, just creating space through the hip flexors, four, five, six, seven, eight,
press gently with the hand, creating space through the hip flexor. Taking the hand off, 10 presses with the glute. One. both hands, you're going to take your knees into your elbows like that. Your hands are going to lock together as if they've got glue on them. Your elbows and your knees are just relaxing into each other and you're just relaxing your lower back down into the floor. So my elbows are wrapped around my knees. My fingers are stuck together, and this is a lower back relaxation exercise, but it's also activating your kidney meridian. So it's a qigong exercise. We're just going to hold that for about 30 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm not sure what the time is, so those of you that need to go, you can go. I want to do one more open thoracic stretch, one more, on, I'm just going to do one on each side. Knees up, level with the hips, arms on top of each other. Bye Elizabeth. Is it 11, is it, is it 11 o'clock? It's past, it's fine after. Okay, okay, Mandy left, so I've got no timekeeper. Okay, thank you. All right, we're just going to drop the hand forward, guys. We're going to roll it forward. And then as we open, we're going to open from our bottom rib. We're not going to let our lower back go. We're going to just open up and stretch the pectoral muscles. We're going to stay here for 30 seconds. back over. Changing sides. We press the arm forward. Open up from the lower rib. We might get a little pop. back over and you are all finished I'll try not to turn you off like I did last night oh perfect thank um, you everyone feel okay yeah yeah those inner thigh ones are really hard was that okay in your shoulder the stuff we the stuff we did shouldn't have irritated it it might have been a little bit hard through here but it shouldn't have irritated the tendonitis no mine's feeling good okay perfect all okay sylvia 
Okay, very good. All right, great. Everyone okay? Yeah. All right, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.